needs a storyline so bad, she will say Honey, anything. baby, let me tell you something. There's a tell reason me. No, why let me, I'm sitting let me on tell this you, couch no, right Don't now. try me, baby. I'm okay, really right but guess what? Her. You're sitting on the motherfucking couch because of me. Katie, <laughs> let me ask you this. Oh. That part, bitch. Let's take, let's take Carly out of the equation. That fucking part. Don't play with Come me. Come on. a little background on what happened exactly with you and Carly. Hey, we went out once, and that was it. And this was before you... Yeah, this this a this long time ago. I was in her video. I oh, was okay. a male model in her video, so... I knew this shit was going on. Cause when I came to that damn video shooting, Tobias was in there with them long ass arms and his shirt on. I yeah. the video shoot. And I, I walked away, I said something going on. No. Let's talk a little bit, though, Keely, ab about your involvement in everything. What were your intentions when you initially made that double date comment? I've known Tobias almost 10 years, right? He was my artist. Okay. I thought he was blue artist. He was mine as well. She ran the company, so it was like, take, I mean, you know how it go. Okay. Like, make she, sure you get to the airport? Yeah. All right, go. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I know Tobias very well. Tobias is a liar. He's Everybody a liar? Everybody knows that. You too. What did I lie about? You haven't broke an artist yet. Who? <laughs> who, did I not, who did I not break? Who? Who did I not break? I'm just saying, like, you're well, an artist 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 I haven't seen you ARR. Why are you, you thinking about something you. that you don't you know about? I've never heard of you. And I don't have a fucking reason to okay. lie. Bitch, you tried to bully me. You thought I was square. Bitch, you will not pick on me. Bitch, mm. if I was a booger, you not gonna pick me. <laughs> I'm not, I don't pick yeah. me, cause bitch, I ain't so. the one to be picked. Bitch, you know the f around start bleeding, you pick me. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I'm still confused on what you're saying he said. That they were together, that they were together sexually. So let him come right, out right here, there, actually. let him. I think she added shit to the story just to make herself look good. Okay. I think she added shit to the story to make herself look good. Okay. Has he look good. Has he denied anything? Are you, 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 you, are 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 you, all right, now Trina wanted to launch a girls' tour, so she set up an audition to give local artists some shine. But it all got cloudy when Nikki Natural's stormy personality wreaked havoc like a natural disaster. Let's check it out. Listen, I'm not balloting nobody. I already, the battle is done, the war is over. Is she scared? First of all, you got so much mouth, you haven't earned the right to get on my tour yet. Cut that mouth and put that action on the face. I want to kind of create something like Trina's boot camp. Just to prep them for the tour so they're tour ready. This sounds like an intervention to me, bitch. I just got word from Joy that Nikki is going to be at this boot camp. You talking about Dookie Natural? Dookie Natural. <laughs> this girl has been trying to, like, antagonize me on social media. And also, the bitch stole my phone. I didn't know she stole it. Bitch, I seen it on the security camera. It was at Bristol's mother party. What I'm trying to figure out is why you stole my phone. We taking shoes off? Bitch, you play with me up? for the guy. Why would you steal my phone? Are you calm? Are you I don't calm? do that fake Trina. Don't act like you with me. You have to mama drop me. I'm not. Don't. Y'all can drop. You don't care for real, bitch. No, you're not gonna call me no bitch, because I'm not none of these women. I'm gonna whip your ass, because I'm not none of them. So you gonna let me go. Oh, 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 no, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, you're not gonna call me, bitch. I'm telling you right now. You ain't gonna call me. I'm not no bitch. Let me tell you something. I will whip your mother. All right. Hey, Trick, Trina's the only female artist you've ever co-signed before this incident, and you co-signed Nikki Natural. How do you feel about this referral gone bad? I oh. try to play Captain Save a Ho. No hoes get saved no more. <laughs> Everybody here knows you never see me disrespect nobody. It's a lot of these bitches do I don't like. I, I keep try, them moving. I, I, I don't play I, with I, them. First don't of all, play with me. First of all, I say, if you're a female artist and you're trying to make music in Miami, you can't say nothing negative about Trina mm -hmm. because she knows everybody. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this side of her. You can't see when you're in her mouth. Well, That's why you didn't see it. Oh, 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 damn, baby. She on the road, baby. <laughs> now, Trina, you put the tour together to give up-and-coming artists a voice and a chance. So how did it feel to get challenged by someone that you're just trying to help? 
The tour was about these three ladies that are really artists that work their ass off, that I've heard do music, that are out here in the streets. If it wasn't for Trick, this woman would not have been nowhere in my space. I'm not disrespectful. I've given respect to any and everybody that comes up under me. Be honest, you're beneath me, you will always be. Don't ever get it twisted. So when I gave you opportunity to hit that stage and hit that stage, you should have hit that stage and did what you're supposed to do because you said to me, Trick vouch for you. Trick vouch for one bitch and one bitch only. That's the baddest bitch. There will never be another. Let's be very clear. So don't ever get beside yourself and be disrespectful because I'm not... And to this day, I've been doing this for 20 years, you won't make it two years in this industry. And I would never give any bitch that's beneath me a chance to get under me. Nobody knows your music. You're not an artist. You're I'm a bitch that's out trying artist. to rap. And what artist that rap? You I'm have no artist. songs on the charts. I don't respect oh no bitch with kids with braces, ho. What? I'm the <laughs> and this ain't no mother James, I'm telling y'all, don't oh touch God. me. You better get these motherfuckers. Tell me, I'm not with the bullshit. You what? get having babies. What? I'm turning the music off. Oh Are you nuts? Are you dumb? I'm having babies. Trick gave you a chance. Listen to me. Get the out of here. How are you a role model? Look at you. You look a mess. No, she don't look a mess. No, she don't. You look a mess. You look a mess. Look at you. You look a mess. No, she don't look a mess. No, she don't. You look a mess. You look a mess. How are you a role model? Hold on. Get on my motherfucking face. Who are you talking to? Get your dusty ass out of here and delve in that drink. Weak ass bitch. Okay, you guys, let's bring it down. Let's get through this. What you talking about, you dirty ass bitch? You old man, you got three or four kids, however many. You dusty, dirty, brace teeth ass bitch. Get the out of here. You're not an artist. You a come you man that's 90 years old to take care of your mother dirty ass kids. What you talking about, ho? Don't let this lace wig in these heels fool you. I am from 15th Avenue. Don't play with me. Well, we're gonna go to Kendall, who is standing by. Thank you. I'm glad I'm back here. That's all I got. Yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. Hope I'm back there, Kendall. What, what you got to say, Nikki? I'm gonna hold my own down. <laughs> what you got to say? First of all, I never disrespected Trina. I never disrespected nobody on that stage. If you come for me, I'm gonna pop off. That's what it is. I stand ten toes down. Shut the up. Trick and Trina are the asshole. king and queen crabs of Miami. Girl, hold up. Oh, 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 okay. Playing swap. Wait, this is Mikey. What kid? Where he gonna find him? He's not gonna be out this asshole. Hey, Trina, you cannot come back here right now. No. Hold the door. Hold the door, baby. Get the security up against my door. We do not. No, no, no. 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 Don't let my back here. Y'all can film the rest of the show by y'all mother. Let's go. Show's over. Oh, no, you got on They're in there. Oh, my gosh. She's trying to open the damn door. Come back to my door, ho. Let's get Hazel's side of the story. I'm not sitting on the couch with her. Like, please welcome Hazel to the stage. Well, to all, I'm leaving. It's her or me. I said, when she threw the drink at me, that I'm not giving her any more camera time. No, I already said she will never get camera time. I already said she will get any camera time. You don't get what? Come on, Ms. Sika, please. I brought her back from the dead, and she can die. No, actually, so, I there. came out of retirement for well, your fat ass. If, if it wasn't, if I didn't hey, do that scene, you wouldn't have been here. Go, go away, Peacock. You would, Sika, would, have would you sit on the couch, happen. and we can Absolutely talk that not. way? Uh, she can't Sika. breathe in my air. Drew, switch no. with us. No, let's maybe get there. Maybe we can get there. Ms. Sika, come on. Are you going to apologize for what you said about my daughter? Or, or for throwing the drink when I turned my back? And then well, telling bitch, I wasn't done with you. No one told you to turn your fat ass around. See, this is why. Yeah, this is why. Did your feelings hurt, Matika? You can dish it, but you can never take it. Masika, don't leave. Let's try to get to the bottom of it. Hazel, why did you decide to involve yourself and make that statement? I think she went on VH1 Live, said Hazel who, so she started it. Then I By dropped By saying her. Hazel who? Yeah, like she didn't know who I was. The bitch knows who I am. Then she furthered and lied and said Betty wasn't on the record. So if we gonna ask questions, then I'm gonna ask the burning question. Like, is it Betty's or not? Like, don't get mad. No, burning a vet vagina. You take it, you know oh. what I'm saying? Actually, that'll be your vagina with all no, the vagina we've seen go through it. It's just great. Like, it's just great. You should ask your ex-boyfriend. Online, everything like that, honey. But Hazel, so why ask that question? When I crashed in Dubai, and she made up this rumor saying I faked a crash that I almost died on to get a nose job, did I ever get an apology? Miss Sika, did you have an issue with her? I'm not doing this. She can okay. get off the stage and we can talk to me. What if like, we move some things around? What if we move her down here? Would you be willing to come back on the stage? Move her back to the holding cell. And then when I leave, bring her back. Tierra Lou, you're also friends with both of them. Are you in the middle? Yeah, I just don't like when people bring kids up, throwing a drink, hitting her. If that's how you felt, kudos to you, bitch. Monique, do you think that Hazel owes 
let's seek an apology. You know, I, not even that I can't really speak on it because I did it, you know what I'm saying? So that would be hypocritical of me. The kids just However, need to be left out of it. At least I felt like when I did it, I told the truth. I with you, Masika's my friend, but that comment, that one, like, you guys are fair game. Nia, you're also seeming right. like the, the, the kid thing bothers yeah, you? Yeah, just stop talking. Everybody needs to stop talking about people's everybody. kids. Like, That's everybody. I, like I even different. told her I she was really, wrong. You know, I did it. Masika, do you think that she did the song with him to, to spite you? There is no song with Eddie, honey, and, and no her. Song? No, it don't even sound like him. So she's saying that that's not him on the song. It's so unfortunate because it just was a record that he did a long time ago. Why so, is she still talking? You know, why is she at talking? That point, okay, when she when when we get grandma off, that's like you should never spoke my daughter's name. Period. You should stop speaking my name. Period. I didn't. Maybe they said won't. they said your name. I, I said who? I said, I said who? <laughs> that's what I said. I don't speak your name. Hazel, how do you know Fetty? I do not know Fetty. Oh, you don't know him? No. Exactly. When you're doing music in this industry, you can go into a studio, and if somebody has a hook on a track, you can go and do a okay. verse. So I it mean, was a hook that you used for a song, and hilarious. it's your song. Yes, I never had to meet the man to do a record with him. You like, never did a record I with him. I didn't go in the studio with Fetty and, like, having a fuck for the tracks. I actually did business to get it. You never did a record with him, which is why it's been pulled from YouTube and every thing else. Okay, Is this girl. something that you plan on releasing? Is this something? It's already released. It's already it's done. It's very already well copyright. It's already um, It's popping. Just went to Dubai, here. performed the record. You know, I'm international with it, so. Okay. Do you think it's right that a lot of people label Masika a gold digger? Okay. I don't even think right, it's a I'm gold gone. digger. I just All think right. that she's a pro. So. Okay. And I think you're a hoe. Mm -hmm. so All right, pro. Right. Oh, her feelings are hurt. My feelings feel like that plastic ass body of yours. Can't feel. Sh I guess that's it. It doesn't look like there's going to be any resolution with that situation. I really wanted them to have this conversation. Though. I did as well. Cause y'all got the best verbiage with the, each other. Yeah. She walked away like, like a punk. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can try to get that back. But right now we got to move on. I have no interest in shooting with this bum ass hoe. So I will not sit on couch nor seat nor anything with this bitch till you apologize for what you said about my child, and then maybe we can have a conversation about the other lies you've told. Now the incomparable Erica Mena refused to even be in the building with the rest of the cast tonight. So I want to know, Sin, have you talked to Erica? No, not at all. No, so no. You, you had no idea if she was coming, going? Don't know, don't care. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, even though she's not here, she did agree to a one-on-one -on -one interview with executive producer Mona Scott Young. So let's take a look and see what she had to say. So talk to us about why you wouldn't do the reunion. I just have this visual of where I see myself going. And to put myself on that stage would definitely detour me from that, mm -hmm. you know? And then why sit on a stage with a whole bunch of people that don't really lie on me anyway? The cast doesn't really matter. So you're okay with Sin, Chrissy, Rich, getting away with... It's with not even getting away. Look where I'm at, look where they are. It's evident. Their storyline is me. I'm going to give these people their time. That's very limited, by the way, so that they can get what they need from it as I continue to prosper and grow. You're saying let them have their 15 minutes. They need it. You know, karma's a bitch. Okay, so Sin, how did you feel when you found out that Erica was engaged to Bow Wow? I was confused. I just don't see how you jump from one relationship to getting engaged right. so quickly. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Rich, I want to know, because you knew Erica well, do you think that she was seeing Bow Wow while she was with Sin? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. No question? No question. Well, there's always two sides to every story, and it's time to hear from Erica on all of this. It's so wild because there were so many people who doubted that that relationship was real. Yeah. But watching you guys, it seemed very real. Yeah. I want people to understand that. <laughs> I didn't want it to end like it ended. I didn't. So I want people to take from this relationship that, no, it didn't work out, but it has opened doors for this kind of relationship to be accepted. I was picking my brain for months on what I really did so wrong. Because she's been saying, oh, she devastated me. She stole money from me. She cheated on me. And if that's all you hear, mm -hmm. and when you see this girl playing this whole role out, of being the victim, you know, I'm obviously the bad guy. Why would you not want to clear that up? Why would you not want to go onto that reunion show stage, look her in the eye, and let the world know, like, 
This is all a lie. If I was to put her on blast, she could never come back from it. There's no so redeeming So you're doing herself. her a favor by being In a, a martyr? In a way, because now she can be the victim. She can be the sweet girl that everybody loves with the red hair that, you know, wants to feed the children. Yeah, why not? Let her run with it. She needs something to run with. What did know? she feel that you had done to her? I mean, was it? For whatever reason, she mm -hmm. thinks that I owe her money from her. So were the emotions that she was feeling really about the money stuff? Because it feels like I, she I'm kept saying you, you cheated on her. At her 21st birthday party, the gentleman she's up and down New York now with has been in the picture from the beginning. So you're saying she was dating him the whole time you she guys were dating? She absolutely was. Let's clarify the timeline with you and Bow Wow in relation to your relationship with Sin. Once okay, well, and for the kiss all. happened. Okay. I like to start controversy, and it was 106 in part. At that moment, what was supposed to be was a stage scenario of us looking like we were about to kiss, and Sin was supposed to kind of come out, have the crowd go crazy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Sin had a different agenda and never showed up that day. I was angry, so I just went forward with it anyway. And at that time, I was like, he's just my friend. Automatically, I was in the doghouse, so was he. During that time, I was really trying to fix it. I was. Your relationship yes. with Sin? OK. And the more I try to fix it, the more people getting involved. And then as you move forward, once you start befriending enemy, 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 that's when it finally hit me that it was over for me. So have you guys been in touch at all? Has she tried to communicate with you, get back with you? Oh, you weirdly going? enough, she kind of popped up at a venue that I was hosting during All-Star Weekend, which I found it to be so weird. Did you guys talk? Absolutely not. She was by the bar where I found her, so I was in VIP. <laughs> Take a fan question. This one's from Vanessa C. Tracy, why did you get involved in Shay and Erica's beef? I was friends with Shay. And I thought Erica was really cool. And I didn't, every time we went somewhere and they were in the same building, I mean, the tension was so thick. Mm -hmm. But I wanted them to, I wanted to put them together so they could just get everything out and then let it be. You could go your separate ways. That's all, all right. it was. Shay, did you take it that way? Did you feel like Tracy had kind of set you up in the situation? Um, I don't think that was her intentions. It just came out that way. My intentions was to talk to Erica and figure out what was going on. but. Her approach of why you got my name in your mouth threw me off. I can't entertain ignorance, no. Mm -hmm. And you the most ignorant one. I can't. I think Erica felt like Shay was a side chick mm -hmm. or the side hoe or the popcorn groupie bitch. I wasn't nobody's side anything. He lied to the both of us. That's just how it was. And for whatever reason, she more mad at me than she is at her baby daddy. It ain't my fault your baby daddy was still here and he wasn't leaving. He was, I mean, it's not my fault at all. I didn't know that he was dealing with her. This season um, too, right? Right, season, okay, I just had to make two. sure. We not finna season rewind. Season two, you still no. ain't married, okay. huh? Right, season two. You still ain't married. And guess what? You still a cast B you, member, yeah, boo. Yeah, okay. And I'm up here Check right it. with you, baby. All right. Living better than you, though. Living better than you, though. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to that yeah. later, ladies. Get some pictures in Get your way up, ho, before you come at me. We'll get to that later. I've got something for Jocelyn. You don't Shay, want none. Girl, Shay, you don't want none. Yeah. I can pop off, because I right. will jump off. Jump then, bitch. Oh, don't you ever get it twisted. Don't you ever get it twisted. We are going to get to that later, Shay, Erica. Come on, Shay. 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 And I was doing my own thing, just okay. relaxing, you know, getting my mind right. Did something happen where you just kind of decided no more fighting? I made some mistakes. I should not have been fighting on stage. Okay. I feel like I should control my anger a little bit more. Right. People got to realize when you watch the show, it's picking at Jocelyn, picking at me, picking at me. What did I do to y'all bitches so bad that make y'all keep my name in your beef sucker? What have I done? <laughs> oh, boy. Mimi, you guys are definitely like oil and water. So why did you actually go and sit down to talk to Jocelyn? Because Stevie asked me to, and he said she was going to apologize. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that was the only reason. That's it. What you... other reason would I have to sit down with Can I take a nap? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be nice. I went and sat down and had a conversation with her, and she acted like I'm supposed to apologize. I apologize for what, bitch? For taking your d I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Now, Stevie, did you discuss an actual apology with Jocelyn? No. No. Thank you. I don't have an issue with Jocelyn. The only issue I have with Jocelyn is she's not a nice person. Oh, boo boo cry. What about what you've done to me? What you've done to well, me? Let her finish. Let her what finish. What you've done to me? 
You ain't you. Just like you do point at 42 with a little baby. You know what's an issue? The way you look right now. That's an issue. You look a mess. All of that is an issue. All right, let's get this back on track. Jocelyn, with that confrontation with Stevie, it just seems like he really pushes the right buttons for you. Why is that? To me, it's like if you're helping certain people that's not established already, you could be helping me. I don't know why he doesn't tell me things. It wasn't intentional, but like I said, she didn't have to throw orange juice on that plaque, Mariah. You got a plaque for Mariah Carey in her dining room, but yet you're working with this local nothing ass bitches. Exactly. Now, Carly, let's talk to you for a second because during that confrontation, you look genuinely upset. Did you see that coming? No, I didn't see it coming. We can't hear you, girl. Talk a little louder, like how when you suck. <laughs> Here's my thing. You've been a messy friend from day I've one. I've been a real friend. You have been a I've messy been a real friend. friend. I've supported you, and that's what a real friend does. Can you guys remain friends? I could be friends with Carly. My thing is, Carly needs to learn how to stop str straddling the fence. How do you find the time to get so involved in so many conflicts this season? <laughs> First of all, I call it being a true friend. They call it being messy. Here's my thing. You don't have to be hicking and laughing. You know, a bitch mm -hmm. like me, is somebody telling me something about Carly? I'm not gonna laugh, because that's my friend. It's just you, Carly. Carly, you're really messy. We all do have messy tendencies, I will say that. Hers are a little bit heightened than ours. Which of your friends here do you feel the most loyal to? Why does my loyalty have to, uh, I have to be more friends with Mimi than I am friends with Rashida? Just say nobody, Carly. But where does your loyalty lie? Excuse me? What is your loyalty lie? That's what she was asking you. I have different relationships with everyone on this stage, Erin, just like you do. I think Carly's loyalty lies with her businesses because we know she has a lot of them. So oh, yeah. I have a lot of businesses and I didn't you know say you that. Did. I didn't say anything about, I'm about your business. My business. We were At the end of the day, my loyalty lies I didn't in my question ass. your business. We were questioning your loyalty. Don't that was the question. question in the that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this season found Carly defending herself against an old friend's allegations of a threesome gone awry. Was there really one poo too many between the sheets? Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. When I brought my relationships around you, you were so touchy feely. But you Hiram, so what's the difference? What, what you talking about? You Hiram, you my and you That's my stupid. ass. Your right now, in my you are liar. Bitch, you on my mother. You owe me seven hundred and fifty dollars. You how I hustled her in the that she shit on my sheet. So I just want to give it a sheet. This is a gift from me to you. I bought you some diapers for that loose ass. Yeah, you oh my god. Oh my god. You shit on yourself. Next time with a you in the ass, no shit on my sheets, okay? I took a lie detector test to prove that any accusations about me have been wrong. You said you took a lie detector test. But what was the accusation, though? But what was the accusation, uh, though? Baby. Don't play with me, bitch. I'm a rebel, bitch. Why wow. oh, she always crying? She cry about every damn thing. <laughs> I love it. Carly, how has this drama with Pooh affected your life? At this point in the game, I'm like, who's that? A uh, Miss Doodoo or Miss Fart? I got my own sex toy line, and I got my own license in sexology. OK. Why the what I give a fuck about saying that I fuck this bitch and her husband? If it was true, I would not have a problem saying, oh yeah, I f so what? It's not true. Let's talk a little bit about these sheets. There was a little bit of, of chatter online that those cheetah print sheets were not $750 sheets. Were they yeah, really? Yeah, they were $750. What? Millionaire got, no. sweet what on money you got? Very, very what high thread you count got? sheet. You broke bitch, ass bitch. Broke you ain't got no bitch. money, ho. You ain't no millionaire. You got a mother hair salon that I had in the 80s. <laughs> I don't your kind, you old ass lady. Bitch, give it to me. OK, let me say one thing. Facts is facts. First of all, bitch, I'm 29. Bitch, you my mama age, probably my grandma. Let's say that. I was married eight years. Rashida, you been married for a long time. It's in public mother records when you get married. Bitch, I looked you up, hoe. You ain't married, bitch. The last time you, your husband was married in 2014 to another bitch. It's mother. in Records, bitch. Your name is the Janelle Campbell. You ain't got no mother when you ex prostitute ass strip ass bitch. And I don't act hard, but bitch, I will have your old ass tied up in this bitch. Play with me, bitch. You shut the you raggedy ass. Worried about the rats and roaches running around your goddamn shop, bitch. I almost got my foot caught in them goddamn. Let's start with you, Rocky Thunder, because you definitely lived up to that name. I mean, let's go through the list. You got into it with Joe, Tahiri, Jen, Consequence, 
and Rashida. That's half the cast, Rocky. Yeah. You got into it with everybody. I do. I, I like who I like, I don't who I don't. All right, well, I want to start with you, Rashida, with this whole situation with you and Rocky, because I feel like you jump-started it maybe a little bit. What was your industry pee line about? What is that? Well, first of all, the definition of industry is someone who has sexual activity Clocking with multiple love. people in Name the music names. industry. Name names. Willingly. Name names. Drop them. See, I'm not a dry snitch. Let, let's That's the difference between me and you. What You're a dry rat. snitch. You did your time before. You're a rat, bitch. You did your time and before. And I'm here to serve your rat serve ass what? poison. Serve what? Let's oh, talk. You guys God, are bitch. throwing around right. a lot of insults, and nobody still has been able to tell me what the issue <laughs> is exactly. <laughs> the moment so I'm why are you worried about what, what I do? You don't know. I'll wait. Rocky. I'll wait. I'll wait. My name has never been in the Rocky. Rocky. I need you to come out the closet. How finished. about that? Because you've been clocking my Rocky. mouth. So you gonna come out the closet this season or next? We can talk one another. Rocky. Time. I'm like a lady. But you. Let and make sure you return your, your shoes when it's over. Okay. Okay. You don't try to call Stephen Hall. You don't try to call Stephen Hall. All right. Listen, listen, listen. I need you to stop talking. I need you to stop talking right now. Because the bottom line is, with all of this back and forth, I still have no idea mm -hmm. what jump-started this mm -hmm. between the two of you. Like, so you. listen, shut up. Unless one of you can tell me this story yes, very clearly, do you, would you like to tell the story of what happened? When I met her one time, a, a complete scam, she had somebody call me and say, oh, we're gonna do a radio show. I get there, nobody's there but her. She said the people got into a car accident, never heard from those people again. So I sit there and say, what radio show have you done? Oh, I don't do radio shows, I sell shoes. So I'm like, wait a minute, Ra? Oh, Rashid Ali, I've heard of you because I have friends who've gotten robbed by her, scammed by her, played by her, by her. So then I tell her to her face, boo boo, I got no problems with you. You never taken money from me, you never my man, but you're a fake scam artist, so I can't do business with you. You think that bitch you said that to me and I didn't put my foot on her neck? What's up, Miss Tiffany? Nobody said that to you. But you was Googling me, ho. Of course. All right. Give you the the one thing that's friend. gonna happen on oh, this right. stage, let me say this to the mother. Shut friend. up right now. No, I'm telling you to chill, okay? Don't get it twisted. I'm telling you to chill. Listen, what I'm the not f problem? I'm not no, that is disrespectful. I'm not disrespectful. That is disrespectful. Is popping do not ever tell me to chill. You chill. How about that? I don't disrespect you. Did you spike Jockstrap? Do I really need to answer that question? What like, the hell, yeah. Oh, There's no way I should have been sucking your toe on national TV <laughs> off one and a half drink. That tells you that we have chemistry, so it takes nothing She's for She's trying Jock to say to she put a chemistry, a uh, chemical <laughs> in my drink. Katie, you pretended to work for Jock while you were really hooking up with him behind Carly's back. Exactly. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, you I'm were... not gonna agree to that. Really? Yes. Let me, let me yes. clear. Yes. This girl needs a storyline so bad, she will say Honey, anything. baby, let me tell you something. There's a tell reason me. No, why let me, I'm sitting let me on tell this you, couch no, right Don't now. try me, baby. I'm okay. really right. But guess girl. what? You're sitting on the m couch because of me. KD, hey, <laughs> let me ask you this. Stop. 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 Let's, let's, take, let's take Carly out of the equation. Stop. Something. What you don't know what is that know? every five seconds, Jock is always like, "Can I f you?" He was just sitting on the stage just now. You gonna f me tonight? You gonna? And you did. And you damn gonna lie. Harley. I don't no. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. At the wedding, he was trying to get in the panties. At the wedding, he was trying to get with me. Ow! <laughs> So you guys. Yes! Yes! 
You I'm saw me dance I'm with Cardi. Saying, Listen, I don't like that. now if you sit here, and, if you gonna sit here like I just I'm, walk out no, the stage, I'm saying you guys. I walk friendly, out the no? stage because you lying. No, everything come out your mouth is a lie. All right, all right. Tina, let me ask you. Sin, John is playing today. John. I had to sit down with you, and he said he was in an exclusive relationship with KD. Since he did that, have you slept with him? I can't stand a fing liar. Yes. Is that true, Jock? No, she ain't even seen me. Jock, don't make me go there. He had nothing but a little Don't thing. make me go yeah. there, Jock. Okay, you know what? I did not expect this to go like this today. Oh, okay. That evoked a lot of emotion out of you, Moniz. This year's been a lot for you. How are things with you and AD? Can you give us an update? It's touch, it's go. I love her. I definitely see a future with her. Okay. We're figuring it out, you know? Let's talk a little bit about the studio session. How did it feel for you watching it back and seeing it kind of be made fun of and there be like a jovial part to it? I don't give two <laughs> Like until you're walking in my shoes, go yourself. I'm gonna laugh at it because I know you, Moniz. I don't care if the world thinks, oh, it's a mental health. She loves playing the victim role. You can't play the victim role with me. I know you all the way around the board. I know how you get down. I didn't say, oh my God, I'm a You took Ill. medication in seven years. Uh, what mental uh, illness oh my case? God. What? Come on. Uh, give her oh the end, bitch. Even, even, even if she did, fell off. No. Even if she did, I said it. Going on I also on this wanna side talk to because No, you're a ridiculous mother fighting with a goddamn woman. What are you talking? Oh my God. She did that, Shut Tina. You're doing the Tina Turner? Shut up. Man, Sit your old ass you. down. Sit down. You're you old Stevie as hell. Jay. You're not I don't even argue you're with people even over for it. Because you're the type of n that I send n for. I don't want to talk to you. You need a peach like you a f out, bitch. Oh, girl. Why is she over there even standing up? Man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Shut up, That woman needs to be taken away. No. Get out. You got the females on your side for sure. You got the females on your side. Get him out of here. Let's regroup. Let's regroup. All right, guys. Everybody on the couches, we regroup in here. We're going to regroup. Obviously, Rockstar has left. We're going to let him cool off. You and Carly, you guys were on again, off again, on again with your friendship. Where are you guys today? Where do you stand? I don't with that old, tired-ass bitch. That hoe, that hoe is messy. I try to be friends with her. Cause she ain't got no friends. I, she tried to be in the industry. She tried to. Does she anybody tried to, understand she tried what she's saying? Career. Cause I need to translate it. Bitch will translate ho. Translate. Since she speaks Spanish. Okay. Since two, I'm like, if Let I know, know when she's finished, cause her visa is up today. <laughs> okay. Translate that, bitch. Let me know when your so visa's you up. Really cause you gotta get off stage soon. In, in other words, you, know you guys why? don't mess with you each You know why? Other. Because I try to be cool with people, mm -hmm. and they seem to take my kindness for witness. And I'm not. Guess what? I'm not doing. I'm not compromising with nobody. If you'll be a bitch and ask. To me, that's what the f get back out of me. I'm tired of being f like, and I'm not doing it no more. And if they don't like it, I don't give a. F All right, I hear you, Carly. K. Michelle, you gave her a diss record for her birthday present. What did you think the reaction was gonna be? It was just like, okay, you know what? I don't want you to hear it in the streets, so you heard it here first. And where our relationship is, we're good. You guys are good? I'm good. I ain't finna fight with Carly about no diss record because it didn't get played on that one station. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is there a reason why you feel so hard on her and the singing? People, they don't understand that I'm an A and R. Who do she A and R? Who, who? She A and R's out her kitchen. Who? Who do you A and R? I'm a Grammy nominated, who do you Billboard charting, listen, producer, listen, songwriter, who do you A &R? artist, and A and R. No, listen. Worry Ab about your son you and sound, your marriage. That's you what you need to be worried stupid. about. God damn, bitch, you shut the up. You shut the you up. Ursula looking like this a is, goddamn this is shimmery so ass. Bitch, shut up. You stupid bitch. Yeah, no. no. Let me catch you. Damn, Lyrica. Damn, Lyrica, you hit me in the ankle. No, ah. no, no, no. Bitch, you don't let that bitch talk about your mother right. singing. You've been singing all your life. Right. Right. I'm going to let her tell you about what she's a and Bye right. with your fake ass Gucci slides on. Bye. Bye. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to get back to what we were talking about beforehand. OK, you guys ready? All right, let's keep going. And it's like, bitch, I just don't with you. You're with my best friend, and now you're trying to talk talking about my marriage. Yes, we have problems, but bitch, nobody's ever proposing to you in life. Look at that face. Like, poor girl, that's a face that only a mother could love. All right, so Kimberly, do you feel like Britney has enough credibility to speak on other people's talents? Absolutely not. 
I, I thought, especially that you guys, you and Brittany were friends. Is there... No, is, we're not friends like that. Yeah, not, we we're, went to the we're, movies we're one time. Like, yeah. when I started filming, and it was like, oh, we're the best friends. Oh, I learned from you. You didn't learn anything from me. Like, you don't know her from a music background or... That's how you guys I know each other? Or... She said she worked with me. She came in the studio for like 30 minutes. I had already a Girl. session with Bongo going on. What did you write? What she did you came write in with the studio on? late, actually. She came out. She it's came my later. studio session, and we was yeah. filming that night, bitch. She's saying I ain't she never with worked you. with you. I don't be it's... lying like that, my. I ain't I've never. With you. <laughs> it's all good. Do your thing up there in your cubby. I mean, home. look, all leave all it to Kate. You can't stop. She's nobody's nobody. friend, so it is what it is. Okay, Brittany, let me ask you this. All right. There have been allegations that you have left your resume. You can you can actually Google and look at anybody can put something on a resume in the music written. business. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't have to fluff up my credits. Um, I worked really hard to get where I'm at. My but sister they just said she didn't work with you. I feel like at the end of the day, sometimes when you're the underdog you and you're coming a, up, you just and you, the dog, and you encounter people <laughs> that step on you, what? Like they are, period. And then you get you to their level. Period. Yeah. I'll say this: I had an event, and I asked Brittany, "Can you please take this on for me and get the band together, right. get the acts and all?" And I didn't even have to look at it again. She put it all together, and it was amazing. So I ain't gonna come out here and just yeah. say, like, totally let you get discredited. You can't fake a Grammy nomination. You can't fake charting on billboards. You can't fake songwriting credit. What song? So I feel like when people try to diminish or demean, you know, my career, it's simply just a reflection of how they, they view me. So, Asia, I was asking you, what changed that you had to send those types of messages to Swift? What happened? He's Bobby's girlfriend. She said to me, do you and Swift have an open relationship? And then I said to her, no. Mm -hmm. I messaged him at the time. I said, are you having sex with this girl? And then he started going off like, oh, you're annoying. You're always talking about bull And he said that even if I was to her, that would make me the man. Oh. Asia, maybe it was wrong for me and Swift to flirt. Even though I did not know he had a girlfriend, but at the end of the day, like, you still didn't like me. You been not like me because you judge women like me. No, you I'm judge not. me before you reason. and me, so no, I... No, I had a reason. I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? <laughs> After I saw those text messages, I, I went to Swift Facebook and I find you and I look for you. I'm a stalker. I stalk you, bitch. Like, you judge me because I was a stripper. Say the truth. No, no. Say the truth. Yes. No, I don't, yes, I don't you did. Care. But you want to be talking no, about I'm me. No, actually, bitch, you don't know nothing about me. You was burning the London that. Bridge, bitch. <laughs> you embarrassed yourself. Oh, my God, it's too loud. It's too going just... on. Come on. Well, you had to drop me. Both of you had to drop me. I'll drop <laughs> again. <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> they show, then it show what the I did, bitch. I was cracking you. You was like, help me, help me. All right, Swift, what is going on with you and Cardi now? Are you um, guys together? No, nah, me and Cardi's not together. OK. We work together, make money together. That's what it is. You guys fall into affection easily, though, it seems like. Because he's cute, and I'm pretty. Like, that's not a joke. <laughs> All right, where do things officially stand with you and Asia? Me and Asia, we're not together. You know, we broke up a couple months ago. And uh, okay. I do want to tell her, I do genuinely apologize for you being in a situation like that because no female deserves to be in a position where she feels like she got to fight for her love. Do you still have feelings for him? There's nothing. I don't feel any type of way towards him. Hollywood's emotional journey has more plot twists than Amber's. She started with high hopes of rekindling a romantic relationship with Miles, but after he revealed his secret love for Milan, things between the high school sweethearts turned sour. Watch. I've been having issues with my sexual identity um, and my feelings towards the same sex. Everybody was right. Everybody was right. Everybody was right. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. This is a game, and you guys can have it for No, cheat me. What he feels for you is real, and he loves you for real. But it's like, I'm mad because he, he didn't tell me nothing. And then to me, it's like, don't string me along this whole time. Why involve me? Every time I've asked Miles about you, it's, oh, that's my best friend. I'm like, well, you need to tell her. Good. I've been telling Miles from 
day one, I want to talk to Amber. He tells me that he's been trying to like distance himself from you. You won't let go. I don't know if you know that me and Miles have been in a relationship for like two years. We have matching tattoos. You know, he li he moved into my house. Mm -hmm. I'm just so sorry. Like, I wish I didn't even have. I wish we wasn't going through this. I wish I didn't have these feelings. I swear to God. Like, and I, I hear just, you. I, I just don't. want you to put all the hurt that you did to me and everything that I did to you in the past, like behind us. Right. Now I'm going to move on and, you know, it's OK. So we'll just go from there. And that on a high note. Now, Miles, you have said that you guys did have a family. So and Amber considered you to be a father to her daughter. Do you still consider yourself Zoe's father? Absolutely, absolutely. That's my baby, and she's a kid. She does. She's not even really tripping off of it. She's like, know? I love you. I love you. Let's go to the movies. Still Snapchat, <laughs> yeah. all that. Yeah. And you guys still consider yourself a family? Absolutely. Well, Best... a family. Okay, a family. A family. Yeah. 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 For real. Yeah. Amber, where do you and Miles stand right now, though? Right now, we're friends. You're friends. Yeah, we're friends. We're friends. Oh, what about Milan? Can we see where Milan no, stands okay. too? Because he still has a story. He still has a part of the story too. Yeah. Milan, where do you and Miles stand right now? Well, it's really touching to sit here and, you know, hear this story about a person who is struggling between, you know, the person that he's in love with, which is allegedly supposed to be me, um, and then oh. the person who he used to be in love with, which was supposed to be you. Um, and to sit and watch, you know, it all play out and um, knowing that I came on this show with all intentions to... Um, ask him to marry me today. Oh, wow. But, wait, wait, what happened? Because you have a ring. You were going to propose today? Yeah, I was going to propose today. But the whole time, Miles, you've been cheating on me with a, a whole other person. Ooh! So, wait a minute. It's another dude. There's so, another man involved? So, Absolutely not. But you going around here cheating on the person you're supposed to be in love with, the person you broke, you came and told your family, you, you came and told your sister, you came and told your ex. All of that is bull you a fraud. No, you a fraud not. ass. No, and that's what you is. First of all, and that's what you is. Yeah, and that's all I gotta say. But my what? My look, look. look. What we're, what I'm not, what I'm not gonna I'm do. I'm just gonna let you. To I'm gonna story. let you talk, okay. and I'm gonna let you know that you ain't. <laughs> They're gonna read. Church. Bye bye. Church. Can you respond to his ex. allegations? That's totally not... false. I love Milan. So and can you talk like... about, are you and Milan completely done? I'm done. I'm done. All right. Milan has just left the stage. We'll be right back with Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, the reunion. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer it!